Hi everyone, good morning, good evening, good night. I hope you this find you well, ready to begin with the day of Nice. So I want to thank you because uh, I see a lot of people connected every day, like 3,000 people every day connected um, at this time. So thank you because you're helping me, you're helping us uh, by holding the frequency day by day with everything that we are supposed to do for this year. So thank you. And of course that parties are still on. So a lot of people would um, enjoy. Uh, I would be like here, closed just shut down but everyone celebrating outside so there was some people asking what is your problem with weddings my problem with weddings is when weddings are every day and the music of the weddings are uh, until 12 uh, in midnight and I have the party in my room that's the problem with weddings that I have and of course, uh, the historical reason why there are weddings. So someday we'll maybe we'll talk about it. I don't know if you know that if there is maybe um, something with the astrology happening now, uh, mm, or maybe in my own uh, astrology. I don't know, but. These past three days, I have been very weird. Not sad or bad, I just been weird. I'm feeling like, like if I am without strength to do anything, like I'm not willing to do anything, like I'm not used to be like this, but it's like oh, horrible. It has been only these three days, so I hope this ends tomorrow. So let's uh, go to the issue for today. So today we are going to be working with the mental aspect of knees. And the issue to discuss today is about matrix and patterns. So these are two um, important dualities that we are used to discuss in these times because we are used to hear a lot about patterns and matrix even if we usually today discuss these two issues by separate um, they are very related one each other and sometimes um, to see it like that it can bring us some conflicts, some problems. So first of all, we are going to talk about patterns by both and by separate. So first of all, patterns. So we usually hear about cleaning patterns, uh, get rid of patterns, go through patterns, transcend the patterns, all of those. So it's very common for us to talk about the bad thing of patterns, so we have to acknowledge what is a pattern first. So, pattern comes from the Latin word pater, that from the in the European languages, which is pater, that means father. Uh, so, well, sorry, that means to protect uh, is the meaning of protection, the one that protects, and from there comes the word of father and dad and this is because um, in the in the origin of our tribes of our families um, the male uh, that was taking care of the kids of the of the protection of the group of the family of the tribe um, was called the pattern the one that was protecting the group okay so that's how the idea of pattern of father comes from so basically pattern comes from the idea 
something that helps you to survive, that puts everything together in order to help them to be to be safe. Okay. The reason why we call today patterns to what we usually call patterns is because throughout the history, all those things that we do that tries to protect us, to make us feel safe, to allow us to survive, to keep going, to keep living, are those things that usually are protecting us. Uh, throughout all of our history, what we do is to do stuff in order to protect ourselves and to protect ours, our people, our tribes. When some of those tools are good, so they, they accomplish their mission of protecting ourselves, so of course we are repeated because if it accomplishes its goal, so that means that it's good. So you constantly repeat it once and again. Even if you are an individual, or if you are a group, you keep on reproducing that. So that's what we call a pattern. It's something that through time, it still, uh, it's still protecting you. Hmm? So when is the moment when I say, uh, I need to clean the patterns, I don't want these patterns, I need to get rid of these patterns? Well, it happens in the moment when I realize that I need to keep going, I need to transform myself, I need to change my life, I need to feel free, okay, from everything, okay? And, uh, and sadly, the patterns starts to keep, keep me uh, constantly protected. The um, pattern was trying to protect me and now I'm going to a non-protection zone is something uh, very different. So I won't be able to be protected. So the pattern is trying to protect me constantly, but I am trying, I am willing to go into a no protected area. Okay. So this is how a pattern is holding me back and don't allow me to keep going, move forward. So of course, the idea of a pattern that is holding me back is the natural thing to think about when we are trying to move forward. The problem with this is that I, am, I, I cannot get rid of a pattern because patterns are good or useful for certain situations. Remember that the patterns were created for certain moments that I needed. Uh, so it's like trying to get rid of a knowledge that I have. It's not possible to get rid of something that you already know. Um, because that knowledge is useful for specific moments. So to what we really could do is to re-educate the pattern to do it in a different way to prove that you can do it differently. So for example, uh, we can use many, many examples in different areas, but for example, something that you eat. Uh, for example, every Sunday, your family gets together to eat meat and it's normal for the family to constantly eat meat. So how do I change this pattern that we have? So not saying don't eat meat, of course. What I have to do is to first try myself to change, for example, for example to eat with them, they will eat meat, but I will eat exactly the same cooked way, but I will eat maybe seitan, for example. So I use seitan and I eat that as if it is meat with all of them. So they will start softly to wonder how it tastes and suddenly they will all change into seitan until there is only one remaining eating meat. So it's naturally and step by step is to uh, re-educate. Hmm? So then you will have any other patterns, like with family, with uh, friends, with, um, uh, with partners, with religion, with culture, anything. This was just a simple example. So this is how you start to re-educate step-by-step a pattern. 
So in the other hand, we have the matrix and matrix cannot be re-educated because matrix incorporates everything. Everything is there. All the information is there. So it's impossible to change it. So we usually think that matrix is something that made us be like prisoners because uh, matrix is something that incorporates all the information from the network through every time and every space. So we could say that matrix is like the information that made us be what we are. So we are kind of controlled by the patterns of the matrix. So this is why we think sometimes that we are like the prisoners of this matrix. So matrix is not something that, um, that exists only in third dimension related with some people on earth or whatever. It's something that exists dimensions. So it's like a network of vibration that storage all the information that is through the whole cosmos. So basically the matrix is something that we may say is like the subconscious that keeps us being what we are, even if we don't want to be what we are. So these two concepts that seems opposite uh, <coughs> are doing exactly the same with us, which is condition ourselves to be what we are because patterns shows us how and where we have to do it and the matrix is saying us you cannot do anything else but that the mix of these two uh, concepts would be understood like the matrix is like a tissue made up with many streams uh, and each one of those streams or paths is the pattern so a matrix is done by thousands and billions of patterns so each one of these patterns is creating the idea of matrix what happened is that if we acknowledge each one of the patterns that we have and we start to be uh, aware of how to use each one of these patterns what we are going to be able to is to create my own matrix to handle my matrix so basically the reason why we allow the matrix to control us is because we don't know how to use the patterns when we start to acknowledge how to use the patterns as, to, as a tool we start to realize that we are able to create the matrix that matrix is not anymore a jail for the self is our creation so this is the way in which we can start to understand how they both work together so this is why a civilization aware of its own limitations uh, is a civilization able to know how to transcend them? People that that doesn't know what are its own limitations, they cannot know how can they transcend them. So this is why the patterns are the indicators that shows us how can we create our own reality. So basically, we can understand this, <coughs> that patterns are the energy that moves you forward into one direction. So it's what we used to call will. Patterns push you to will, different goals and objectives. And the network around the matrix is the holding all the will and given the energy to each one of the patterns to accomplish its own will. So it's eternal energy that we call love. 
So we have the pattern, which is will, and the matrix, which is love. So we don't recognize the love in the matrix. Matrix starts to become like a cage. And this cage is made with all the emotions possible. So we feel like we are trapped in a world of emotions. When we don't recognize our patterns, instead of pushing us forward to accomplish our missions, what the patterns will do is to move ourselves into the direction it wants. So this is how we are um, uh, conditioned by our patterns in life. So what we need is the third one, the third option that helps to understand these two. What is its own goal? What is the purpose of the pattern? What is the purpose of the matrix? So in the middle, we find the third aspect of this unity, which is wisdom. Wisdom is the one that gives the meaning and the purpose to both of them. So basically, I awaken the wisdom in the moment when through love, I activate the will to accomplish a purpose. So wisdom represents the acknowledging of why I have this pattern and the main idea of why I live this matrix. So this is that basically what I have to do is instead of trying to get rid of the pattern and trying to escape the matrix, what we have to do is to understand why do they exist? Why they exist in my life? When I am able to answer myself or to make the questions to myself, why, what for, from where, all these kind of questions, is when we start to acknowledge and to awake the wisdom of the patterns and the matrix. So this is the task that we have throughout our whole life. And the reason why they are so um, important is because patterns and matrix <clears throat> are the ones creating our history from the past, the present, and the future. So let's work on this. What I wanted to say is don't think that these are separate things, okay? Um, all this is part of the same system. Hmm? So I wanted also to say this because for sure you will see many videos in internet saying, I don't know, that there's a matrix controlling us and, and so on. And, and what I want to say is this, that what I explain here is the basic system, a matrix. And the matrix that everyone is blaming for holding us trapped and control and so on, is like that because we have charged the matrix with the system of control, of hierarchy, domination, and so on. Because remember, the matrix is just absorbing systems and information. So the system of matrix will be exactly as we upload information to that. So if we keep creating the idea of the matrix is controlling us and from the outside is something that is trying for us to be slaves, we are just putting that information in the matrix completely. The matrix the matrix is just a system of networks absorbing data, okay? If we put all the same data into that, the matrix will always be the same. 
So picture that the matrix is like the internet. It means that in the internet, everyone is just uploading information about fear and control and so on. And then you go to Google and look for uh, information from trees. And suddenly you, you find uh, trees are controlling the grass. Trees are controlling and, and grabbing the rocks and strangling, I don't know, whatever. So whatever we look there, we will fill it through the filter of fear. So let's begin to charge new information into the matrix. Otherwise, it would be completely the same. Hmm? Um, so let's go to the information for today. The vibration we're going to use today is Mu. The statement for today is I am destiny of all purposes. The code of today is the physical pattern T. It says, this manifestation is its body, the temple of its soul and spirit, sees in every organ, in every ex extremity, the sacred chambers. <coughs> in every cell, the bricks that built it. In its blood, the blessed waters of its memory, and in its senses, the voices of the universe. T is the sound of the manifested, of the physical, of the eternal horizon, and the material body, the final product of creation. So let's go to the alignment. Sit comfortable. We begin softly to massage the body, to stretch the body, stretch, yawn, massage. Start to relax the body, letting the weight of my shoulders down, focusing on my breathing. Take a deep breath, feeling the air coming inside your body, through the nose, towards the lungs, heart, blood, organs and muscles. I feel the air becoming wind within my body, perceiving how it starts to be empty and light as a feather. 
and I perceive the wind and air outside being connected to the air wind inside of me. I visualize that I am in a beautiful place on the top of a mountain, at the edge of it, watching below a beautiful valley and an astounding scene around. I perceive the air from the valley coming towards my feet, my legs, hip, belly and chest, hands and arms, shoulders, neck, head, take a deep breath, and position your hands low to the sky. I perceive the light of the sun coming down across my body, through my crown, their eye, throat, heart, plexus, sacrum, root, and expressing itself through my knees. and perceive two rays of light coming from each one of the knees towards the palms of my hand. I feel my hands filling up with this light. That suddenly I start to feel heavy with texture. Recognize the concept of matrix and patterns in each hand. One in the right, one in the left. I recognize that the matrix is a structure that holds what I am. And the patterns are the tools that the self is using in order to build what I am. So I recognize in Matrix the eternal love allows me to transform to be, to express and in the patterns I recognize the will that push me to accomplish my purpose both of them are not here to prohibit myself to create my path. They are here to help me to become my own path. And I can only understand the purpose of both of them through the consciousness that gives me wisdom. By taking my hands to my heart, I set the, the intention to unite the love of my matrix and the will of my patterns in the consciousness of my wisdom. Through the sounds of vibration, I start to unify the two concepts of patterns 
the concepts of matrix as one. in my purpose. Take a deep breath and recognize I am destiny to all purposes. I am destiny of all purpose. I am destiny of all purpose. For I am my own pattern and my own matrix. Softly, I start to bring this consciousness through each part of my body by caressing, stretching, and yawning. And I come back here and now, opening my eyes. So, the task for today, to design the matrix and the patterns. So, thank you for being there, for being part of this, and see you tomorrow for the ankles. Rest, see you tomorrow.